and extend to seeing to the effect that Article 10 has been implemented. That is a question of integrity. It calls upon you, honorable senators, to look at the conduct of the people working in the county assemblies. It calls upon you, honorable senators, to see to it that chapter six of the constitution has been implemented as it is. Chapter six of the constitution presupposes a scenario of the Caesar's wife, that the people working in the county governments must be beyond reproach. They must not even be suspected of any scintilla element or any iota of misconduct. They should not be suspected that they even attempted to get bribed. This is not a case of an attempt. It is a case that evidence has been led to the conclusion of any reasonable member of the society that yes, Mr. Monda was fouled with his hands in the cookie jar. That doubt has been erased. When Mr. Monda was put to task, why didn't you reverse the 100,000 shillings that you sent to Lucy? He simply says, I fell asleep. At the county assembly, he indicated that he fell asleep. When he was taken to task and taken through his MPESA statements, even as late as 23.57 hours, he was still transacting. When he was put to task, whether he understand the MPESA procedures and whether he saw the prompt messages, he simply feigned ignorance. I do not know how to operate an MPESA. Ignorance is no defense. Ignorance cannot discount his misconduct. Ignorance cannot let him be pardoned for, 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 for defrauding the, the least members of the society. Honorable Senators, look at the person who was called upon to raise 800,000 shillings. A destitute youth, a jobless youth, a hopeless youth, a homeless youth, a youth whom we should be, instead of extorting, a youth whom Honorable Deputy Governor Monda should have been giving hope. Honorable Senators, the conduct of Honorable Governor, Deputy Governor of Kisi County does not breathe hope to the youth of this country. His conduct is a conduct that goes to telling our youths that unless you have a godfather in the status of Honorable Monda, do not attempt to apply for any jobs in this country. That is a message that the conduct of the Deputy Governor of Kisi County is sending out there. This government is spending a lot of time the senators are on day-to-day -day allocating money to the counties to make sure that work and jobs are created. Those jobs are not created for the use of the status of the friends of Mr. Monda. The jobs are not created for the people who have connections with the deputy governor like that of Mr. Mosati. The jobs are created for all the youths. And behold, the Constitution provides that we are all equal before the law. We should be granted equal protection. But what is the Deputy Governor doing? The Deputy Governor is elevating through nepotism, cronism, and favorism his friends. What of those youths? What of those, the Mamamutura who spoke here? The Mamamutura who passionately said, I have taken my child to school and he has, she has no connection to Honorable Governor Monda. What is the fate of that youth? Honorable Senators, you are being called upon to do one of the most solemn things, to tell any person out there who may think that he has the conduct and the ability of extorting youths like Honorable Monda, that you have no space in the Republic of Kenya. That is a message that must be sent clearly. And it is not just a message that is coming out of this house. It is also a biblical message. It is so biblical in the sense that in the book of Exodus, chapter 18, verse 21, we are being told, select 
but select capable men from all the people all amongst yourself men who fear god trustworthy and people who hate dishonest and people who hate gains and appoint themselves as officials this is a member who claims to be a church elder he claims that he's a member of the sda doesn't he know the dictates of the chapter that i have just read is this a person who should be trustworthy does he hate bribe we answer no let it not be lost as I sum up that unless actions are taken as against these individuals, we shall water down the gains that we have made. Article, six, article, 60, article uh, chapter 6 of the Constitution must be briefed. We must give life to that article. Finally, honorable members of the Senate, permit me to to submit that the standard of proof of this case has been met. We were supposed to prove not beyond reasonable doubts. We were supposed to prove on balance of probability, and that standard has been met. I believe there is no doubt in any member of the Senate that Mr. Monda attempted to bribe Lucy. There is no doubt in any person seated before this house today that Mr. Monda sent the money to Lucy. And if there is any person with that doubt, may that doubt be spelled today. And what is the consequences of the actions of Honorable Monda? What is the consequences? The consequences is that his actions have put a family in collision. A father has gone against a son, a son has gone against the father. A brother has gone against a brother. If Mr. Monda was diligent enough, if he's a person who is to be trusted, he should have chosen his path clearly and correctly. He would not have put the two families into collision. The collision that you have seen here and witnessed is courtesy of the misconduct of Honorable Deputy Governor of Kisi County. What is this other consequence? The other consequence is that the provisions of Article 26 have been compromised, that life begins at conception. Testimony and evidence was brought before this court that a young woman somewhere, a person suffered depression and as a consequence of that depression, a life was lost. Even if these honorable members will not vote to remove the deputy governor on the count of bribery, let the cry of that child, the unborn child, be heard. Let the blood of that child not dry until justice is done. Let the blood of that unborn child cry and ring bells to the consciousness of this house. So that at the end of the day, a caution and a restraint will be made by any person who may think that child has nobody to fight for, that child that war lost has no voice to speak for. It is you, the honorable senators, who are going to speak on behalf of that child. It is you, honorable senators, who will speak on behalf of that unborn child. It is you who will say that justice will be heard. Subsequently, honorable members, as a consequence of these actions, an office has been compromised. The integrity of the office of the deputy governor has been eroded. The integrity of the office of the deputy governor has been put into disrepute. And for that reason, for that reason, a vote ought to be taken and a vote ought to be cast to send the deputy governor home. Malcolm X in 1965 said, if you do not stand for anything, you will fall for anything. That is the character and the conduct of Honorable Deputy Governor Monda. He stands for anything, and he therefore he falls for everything. He falls for bribery, he bribes Mama, he, he, he exhorts Mama Mutura, he exhorts people on bursary basis, he exhorts Dennis. If a Mama Mutura spoke, 
that he was, she was extorted. And we believed her. Why should we not believe Dennis? Why should we not believe Dennis? When a question was put as to why the mother had to be involved in the sending of the money, the answer was, I was doing financial management. I was doing financial management. I tell you, honorable senators, that the mother was brought in this case as a decoy. She has been brought here as a decoy to make sure that you do not see the correct network of this corruption and bribery. Let no one be invited that the, mother, the money ever came from the mother. If it did come from the mother as earlier submitted, the mother would have been a witness to testify to that effect. Honorable senators, let it not be lost on us that on that first of December 2012, the Honorable Lady Ch Deputy Chief Justice of this Republic committed a heinous offense similar to this one. And she was sent home on the count of pinching the nose of Rebecca. Of Rebecca. She was she was sent home on the count of asking Rebecca Kirubo that you should know people. Who are you? We give you power, we vote for you, then you extort us. We vote for you, then you steal from us. We vote for you, then you defraud us. How lucky are you? How lucky are you, Honorable Monda, that we shall vote for you, we give you our votes, and then you defraud us of our money? How lucky can you be, Honorable Monda? How lucky can you be? That is a question that must go and ring bells. Honorable Senators, as I sum up, let us draw the lesson from the case of Nancy Baraza. If a Chief Justice would have been, was taken home on that one count of pinching the nose and arrogantly saying that you should know people, what of this person who has gained and benefited and unjustly? What of him? You are told that 500,000 shillings was being paid as a debt. Has evidence been brought before this case, before this uh, Senate, to prove that Mr. Mosati owed the governor at a particular point? Zero. No evidence. Let us rise to the occasion, honorable members. As I sum up, look at, look at the Watergate case. The Watergate case was a tight case. Somebody breaks and organizes the breaking of the National Convention, uh, the Democratic Convention offices. A president tries to conceal that, and that act, act of concealing sends Nixon, President Nixon home. Today, it's not Pre President Nixon. Today, it is not Nancy Baraza. Today, it's Honorable Monda. As I sum up, I am urging this honorable house to do what is right, not what is popular, not what is easy, not what is enticing, but what is right. What is right is that which shall lead to giving the people of Kisi County justice. What is right is that action of upholding the provisions of the Constitution of Kenya. What is right is that of saying that the sovereignty of the people of Kenya must be respected. Finally, honorable members, for the loss of that child, and I insist, for the loss of that honorable child, honorable Monda must go. For taking of the bribe from poor Kenyans, honorable Monda must go. For failing to breathe confidence to the youth of this country, Honorable Monda must go. For failing to uphold the integrity of his office, Honorable Monda must go. For taking for granted the, this house that he can blatantly lie to the house, Honorable Monda must go. For failing to bring and for lying before this house, Honorable Monda must go. I urge you, honorable senators, honorable Monda must go. Much obliged.